The goal of the video is to demonstrate performance of millimeter wave hybrid antenna array that was elaborated within European Project SANSA. Uh, it is a key enabling component for a self-reconfigurable terrestrial satellite backhaul networks. The antenna array consists of digital and analog part. The beamforming weights were implemented in the analog part using phase shifters and attenuators. The antenna array has 64 radiating antenna elements and two RF trains. The goal of this demo is to show that with such an antenna array it is possible to have satellite and terrestrial link that are coexisting at the same frequencies. The measurement setup is distributed among four sites that are represented by an aquatic chamber with the antenna array prototype, the antenna tower with terrestrial and satellite antennas, and also outdoor site emulating a satellite and a control room with modems and spectrum analyzer. The spectrum analyzer can show signals that are impeaching in the tower. Uh, these four sites will be now uh, shown in the following. Here we are the tower. Here we can see the terrestrial antenna, which is here. And here is the satellite antenna of the VSAT. This is a container at the basis of the tower. It contains a satellite modem and a video server. The video server uh, can stream a video to the control room just over the ear using the satellite link. There is no other Ethernet connection with the control room. Now I will explain the satellite part, the counterpart that is uh, near the facility to the con uh, to a control room. Here we can see two antennas. The small one, it is a receiving antenna that is uh, getting signal at about 29 gigahertz. And this antenna is transmitting 19.5 gigahertz towards the satellite antenna, uh, which is there at the tower. This is actually the satellite downlink and it is interfered by the terrestrial transmission from, from the antenna that is here at the top of this building. Now we are in the anechoic chamber. It is uh, one side of the terrestrial link. We can see here there is antenna array. Uh, it is its analog part that is uh, doing uh, just the beam steering. It is mo mounted on the motion emula emulator, which is uh, changing the position, the direction of the antenna array. The array is facing the tower through this electromagnetic transparent window. And the antenna array is connected to this channel emulator which is doing the baseband part of the beamforming, which is responsible for now steering. And this here is a terrestrial modem that is now connected over the channel emulator to the antenna array. Now we are in the control room where we have server, this here, which is controlling the spectrum analyzer. Uh, this spectrum analyzer can be connected directly to the antennas that are at the tower, it means to the terrestrial and to the satellite antenna. Uh, then it is controlling uh, the signal generator that was used for antenna array calibration. Later on we have here a terrestrial modem, this here. This modem is directly connected to the terrestrial antenna that is at the tower and it is transmitting using this cable a signal to the second terrestrial modem uh, that is in the anechoic chamber uh, which is connected to the antenna array. Uh, here I can see also some pictures from the anechoic chamber with the antenna array and here uh, I'm running 2D cuts measurements uh, of the antenna array.
The goal of the antenna array is to steer one beam and one null. The beam is used to create a high-quality terrestrial link, and the null is used to mitigate interference from terrestrial to satellite link. This will be now shown in the upcoming video. The signal that is received at the tower by satellite antenna looks like this. There is no signal. I will show you now how the interference looks like if there is no null steered. This is a spectrum of interference coming from terrestrial transmitting antenna array without null. I will try to establish the link now. So now I'm switching the satellite transmitter on. The power of the signal received at satellite antenna looks like this. It is completely hidden by interference. And now I will try to run JPR. And we can see there is no connection. So now I have adjusted antenna array and the channel emulator to emulate a hybrid beam and null steering. And now we can see spectrum that is received at a satellite antenna. It is only the terrestrial interference. And we can see a deep null uh, at the carrier frequencies. However, this null is quite narrow at the sides of the of this band there is still enough interference to interfere with satellite signal that's why I have changed the simple array to have signal that is much narrower in this uh, area where we have a nice now. Now I will switch on the satellite transmitter. So I'm switching the satellite transmitter. We can see now at the spectrum analyzer interference together with the signal from the satellite transmitter and now I will try to establish again a link using JPERF. So I'm starting JPERF and now we can see that we have a link and transmission that has about 6 to 9 kilobits per second. Now I will try to demonstrate the video streaming. I will type into the browser the IP address of the video server. Now we can see the video. And here we can see two plots. The red line is a video bitrate. And here is the video buffer level. So the video is buffered always in order to have continuous video stream here at the PC. And here we can see how the buffer is emptied and again uh, filled. And the speed is about 3700 kilobytes per second. And is selected according to the quality, according to the throughput of the satellite link.